The event tonight is overwhelming. You know, so many people in the room, first and foremost, loads of sporting royalty, rugby union, football, England manager here for you know, God's sake. So, you know, it's pretty high profile, um, but really humbled by, you know, people first and foremost coming for me, but here to help raise funds for it and awareness for MND. So one of the things that's special about the Rhinos is how they treat not only the players that are playing now, but the, the former players, the ex-players, and particularly when you look at the last couple of months with what's happened with Rob Burrow, the Leeds Rhinos in the gala dinner that we're, we're proud and privileged to be part of this evening, it's just amazing. They're just a, a very classy outfit organisation. The, the fact that you've got Josh Warrington here, the Brownlee brothers, uh, Stuart Pearce, Gareth Southgate, Will Greenwood, Jason Robinson, Ellery Anley, all those really significant members of, of the sporting communities. You know, my mates have been, you know, real mates. There's no saying a friend in need or a friend in need. You know what, they've always been there for me. We've been through a lot together on the pitch and they've got my back now through the, you know, difficult times for me and my family. Um, I only hope they know that I do it for them, you know. Um, it's hard to thank them enough. When they say thank you, I don't feel it's enough for them to know what I feel about them doing it. I only hope they know I do it for them. Bob's a, a Leeds legend a massive Leeds legend, so, you know, as soon as people start to find out about what's happening with his, with his health, you, know, you just look around and see what's going on. I mean, tonight has been absolutely fantastic and uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Bob Burrow's influence was, he just took out the, the fact of size doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, he shouldn't have achieved what he's achieved because of how physical rugby league is. You know, when you look at an average, I mean, you look at the, some of the former players here tonight, you've got likes of Adrian Morley, Jamie Peacock, absolute giants of men. They're weighing like 16, 17, 18 stone, and some of them running into you, smashing into you, whatever speed to do. And then you've got bite size Rob I think it was five foot five, he stands it, you know, he's coming along. He shouldn't have been able to participate at the very top level but he has done and that's mind over matter he's made the impossible possible in, in comparisons to to my sport to, to rob's it, it's as though it, it, it equates to me going and beating aj that how, how, how rob's able to to deal with all these big giants out up there on the rugby field. It's like me going out and, 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 and doing Tyson Fury and then next week AJ, the next week Deontay Wilder, you know, and, and, and that's, the, that's the size difference there. You know, I mean, some of these guys that will come onto this field are humongous and they're, you know, they smash into him, but he's put that all to one side and it just goes out there and performed back in his day, didn't he? It's David Goliath. Rob Burrow is one of the great stories. Uh, you first turn on the telly on Sky Sports umpteen years ago and you think, what's he doing on the pitch? Why is he, why is he play, is he, has he won a raffle? Has he been on the back of a Kellogg's Cornflakes packet and won the opportunity to play with? And then suddenly two minutes in you go, holy crap, what's, he's extraordinary. I mean, absolutely extraordinary. And um, I think the great thing about rugby is there's always a place on the pitch for, for every kid in the school playground. So you need your loose forwards, you need your front row forwards, you need your flyers, you need your, you need your dancers, you need, you need your magicians in the middle of the park who can do stuff. Um, and he's, he's like Barcelona's Xavi, he's Iniesta, David Silva at City, just the little linchpin. You can have your big strikers and your hard central defenders and something, somebody makes the team tick. And he was extraordinary. Um, and is extraordinary. And so, when I got the opportunity to, to come up here, it was, it was a no-brainer. Well, firstly, I think there's a connection between uh, sports people, um, 
whichever. And with the situation with Rob at the moment, you know, I've been and watched him uh, both playing for for England and Britain, um, and obviously playing in, in Super League, playing against my team, Warrington. You know, and uh, there's a, a mutual respect, certainly, of rugby league players. You know. The, the physical uh, restraints that they have to work under week in, week out, and the respect that I've got for, for rugby league players. So it's a pleasure for me to come up and support Rob uh, on this evening and going forward as well. No matter what sport you're in, what team you're on, who you play for, I think everything in these kind of situations is put aside. And I think the power of everyone together, raising the awareness across the sports, raising the money, pulling together, um, it can only help. And, you know, I think. Rob and all the other, um, you know, the sufferers or whoever it may be in these situations, I think they really feel the power and it almost helps them, gives them a boost. And I think, you know, being in the room tonight and everyone seeing we're here for Rob, we're here to support him, and hopefully we can help them get through these times. To see him, he was, honestly, he's about what, five, five, five something, like playing with these absolute units and animals, and it just showed his his mental mental character to be playing with them such you know big characters and him but to still shine as well that was what I always remembered about him like even though he was so small he was so tricky he wasn't afraid to tackle and yeah being here to support him now and it's just brilliant the football rugby you know cricket everyone coming together to support Rob it's just been absolutely brilliant and you know, for, for him, he's, he's riding the flag and he's not, even though he, he, he speaks, he, he's going, he's still coming out and trying to, and, and just letting people know he, he's all right and he's, he's happy to talk about it. He's not shying away from um, the situation, which is what makes it, you know, even greater. In the game of rugby union, Doddy Weir picked up, uh, I don't know if you, could do you say picked up? I don't, I'm not sure what the context is, but uh, Doddy came, and talked about motor neuron disease a couple of years ago and he was told there was no cure and, uh, as Doddy is just set off right I'm going to raise some money I want to see what I can do I want to keep exploring I want to find an answer uh, and I'm going, to, I'm going to stay alive I want to stay on this planet and he's it, just an extraordinarily well and then to see it, uh, to see Rob announced that he also had motor neuron. It, it seemed just so cruel. Um, but at the same time, you just completely understood that league union, just rugby as a title, would now do its absolute best to try and help those who suffer from this awful disease uh, and, and do what they can to try and, find, to try and find a cure. Now, it may not be in time for Doddy and Rob, but that's not going to stop them trying, and that's a mark of, of the people, of their families, of the rugby community, that it's very easy for them to say, well, what I do won't impact me, so who cares? Actually, they care, and, um, and when they put the call out and, and the bat phone rings, then you see the, the, the group of people that were here tonight, that wanted to be here, that wanted to support Rob, it's extraordinary. So I've been asked a lot to talk about Rob and um, what is his impact on the game, what is, he, what is his impact in the changing room um, and how has he affected everybody and on, on all our lives. So, so if I think what is his, his impact in the game, he was a five foot one, maybe five foot one and a half player that made fools out of everybody in, in the biggest of games at every occasion. You know, we, we were talking only this week, Rob and I, about, about you know, my preference. I'd rather hit a six foot five, six foot six, big bruiser, than have to chase shadows, chasing somebody like Rob Burrow around a rugby field. So the impact that he's made on the game is probably, you know, probably significant in, in the modern era. But if you think back to people like Roger Millward, who's, who's an iconic, legendary player, Rob Burrow for me is right up there with, with Roger Millward. You don't have to be big. You just have to be brave, and Rob Burrow is brave in, in bucket loads. I, I loved playing with him, and, and many people have asked me over my time, who's the toughest player you've ever played with or against? Any list that I put together would have Rob Burrow in it because he always gave loads of height, uh, weight, strength uh, away whenever he played on a rugby field, but he, he, he absolutely top-trumped everybody with his heart, 
his desire and uh, yeah, he's a lovely, lovely man who gets on my nerves every other day. So yeah, but it's no surprise that there's so many people want to get behind him. It's no surprise that, you know, with such a family, such a strong family behind him that, uh, you know, he feels comforted and he feels like he can approach this and have a, and have a real good go at it. And uh, we'll be behind him and he'll give it a, a, a really hard, strong fight. And, uh, you know, who knows, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see where it gets him. I'm really passionate about raising awareness. Um, I'm fortunate enough, you know, to have oh, an amazing club, amazing rugby league family and sporting family. But I want to use that to do it for the Joe Blogs who has no family, limited money, you know, so they can see that as hope. I mean, people live in hope, so, you know, I feel I don't want to do this and promote it. It's to help everybody else. I'm, you know, I'm still not doing it for me. It's uncomfortable, but, you know, if they get help through it, then I'm happy for that. Uh, he's, he's using his, his, his um, ill health to create some positive out there to get more people talking about it. And Tonight he's getting the introduction and you can see he gets up on stage and he says, you know, I'm no more guy and you can see that he's not bothered about like all this all this attention, but this attention comes because people care about him. So he's trying to point that in a in a in a, in a positive way, making um, a good out of a out of a tricky situation, a sticky situation by by bringing people's awareness to it and then raising more money and you know there's, there's an old saying, isn't there, of like, you know, the, the wise men um, uh, plant the seeds of trees where well, they may never see, you know, and, and that is just like Rob, like, we all hope that, that Rob can live on long and maybe might, may find a cure in his lifetime, but if it doesn't, then down the line, Rob was part of, 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 of helping to find a cure when they do eventually, do eventually find one, so, um, it's, that's just testament of what man he is and uh, that's a hell of a character.